Go. All right, guys, we've got um, Jane Doe leaving on the 22nd of February, and she's in TCU 2001. Has she had any recent changes in condition? No. Um, discharge plan of care is open. And then she is not under a VA contract. Um, transportation. Her daughter Jan at 10 a.m. Okay. And then orders. Obtained. Okay. Um, any narcotics or controlled substances? No. All right. Pharmacy. CVS. Okay. And then make sure we get those facts the day of discharge. Yes. Um, Lovenox Coumadin. No. Diabetic. No. Nebulizer oxygen. No. Ostomy catheter. Does she have a um, tube feeding? No. Wound bath? No. IV antibiotic? No. Cast brace? No. Pleuric strain? No. Staple sutures or dressings? No. Okay, and the payer source? Med A. Right, so her medications will not go with her. And then her follow-up appointment? Is February 24th with Dr. Nelson. Okay, and then dialysis? No. Um, is she doing outpatient or home health? Home health through EOS. Okay, and then any equipment needed? Just a front of the locker. Okay, and then just make sure that we get that put in 24 hours prior to discharge. Yep. Okay. And then education? Is in. All right. Um, and then she is discharging home, correct? Correct. Okay. And then I think that covers that for her. Um, is she MSSP? No. Okay. And then her LACE score, John? She's a low risk. Perfect. And then we will move to Elton John, leaving on February 23rd. He's in TCU 2013. Um, any changes in condition with him? No. All right. Discharge plan of care is open. Okay. And then is this is Elton a VA contract? No. Okay. Transportation? His daughter Ramona at 10 a.m. Okay. And then orders? Obtained. Okay. And then narcotics, John? Yes. Oxycodone. And then we've got the script for that. Yes. Okay. And then the pharmacy? Is Berkey White in LA. Perfect. And then make sure that we get those faxed over so they've got that. Um, and then, let's see. He, uh, Lovenox Coumadin? No. Diabetic? No. Nebulizer oxygen? He has oxygen. Yes. So then we need to make sure that we do that oxygen assessment 24 hours prior to him leaving. And that is on Bethany Connect. Sure. And then we will need to find what company in LA can help us with the oxygen. Um, let's see. Does he have a CPAP? No. Ostomy? No. Catheter? No. Tube feeding? No. Wound back? No. Uh, yes, sorry. Yes, he back. does. Yep, so we will get going with that. Um, I will get a hold of KCI, who deals with our wound backs, and get everything going. Um, that can take some time, so I'll get that going today. IV antibiotic? No. Cast brace? No. Pleuric strain? No. Staple sutures? No. Okay. And then he does have the wound back for his wound care. Um, his payer source? Private pay. Yes. So his medications will go with him upon discharge. So make sure that we have that on the discharge orders to send medications home upon discharge. And then follow up appointment? Is March 1st with Dr. Johnson. Okay. And then dialysis? Um, outpatient therapy? Uh, home health through Ethos Home Health in LA. Okay, perfect. And then any equipment needed? Yeah, he needs a um, 20 inch wheelchair, a uh, reacher, and a stockade. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then just make sure we have those written on the orders too. And then education? Yes, that is in. And then he is just charging home. Um, is he MSSP? No. And then he is a high risk for his LACE score, so that means that he's a high risk for rehospitalizations. So make sure that we're doing good teaching notes and education. And then John, how are rounds today? Good, no concerns. Okay, and then we'll call admissions to see what we have planned for the rest of the day.